What's up everybody? It's Enes here and welcome to another episode. This week we're on our way to Monaco and about to tour this incredible 238 foot mega yacht also known as Quantum of Solace. Now this vessel was built in 2012 by Turquoise Yachts and it has four levels that features an outdoor pool, a helipad and an incredible owner's suite and many more cabins that we're going to see in today's tour. This vessel is also for sale for 56 million 400 thousand euros which is around 66 million dollars and as always you can find more information about this yacht down in the description of this video. Lastly before we start our tour I want to thank our dear friend and the exclusive broker of this yacht Peter Thompson for getting us on board allowing us to tour this amazing vessel and share our experiences with all of you. And now let's begin our tour. All right, everyone, here we are on the aft deck on the main level. We got a nice covered space here that leads us to the main salon. And before I talk about the interiors, I wanna talk about the exterior of this yacht. It's 230 feet in length, beautiful modern design. If you look at the exterior, you can actually see the two balconies dedicated for the owner's suite that we're gonna see in a bit. Very unique detail. On the bow, we have a touch and go helipad. And if you look at the four levels that this yacht has, on the top level, we have an awesome outdoor space with a pool. Below that, we have the owner's deck and the seating area. Below that, we have the main level here where you have your grand salon and guest cabins. And down below us on the lower deck, we got an awesome beach club. We have a tender garage at the back of this yacht. And if you look at the side of the boat, on each side, they have these folding doors that opens up and that's where they get the tenders out to the sea. Overall, amazing yacht, very exciting tour. And while we're here, I wanna mention one more thing. We just arrived to Monaco. So they're currently setting up the boat for the Monaco Yacht Show. That's why some of the outdoor furniture is gonna be covered, but we're gonna come here later and get some B-roll. So that way we can show it to you guys how it looks once it's all opened up and like perfect to present. Yeah, very pristine. Absolutely. Now, f -deck here and we have these automatic glass doors opening straight into your main salon. We have a bit of a landing area here, some built-ins, but first, Mikey, we gotta come close here and take a look at this really cool art piece. I've never seen anything like this. It's moving, it, it's just super cool, so we had to point it out. No idea what that is, but it looks really cool. Absolutely. Now, going this way, we walk straight into the main salon, and this is without a doubt one of the most impressive spaces in this vessel you have double height ceilings here seating area i mean look at the volume for a second you have all these windows bringing a ton of natural light you have the bar seating on the right hand side and i love how they designed it where it's a little bit low and you get these bulky chairs so it's super comfortable you have your sink just a very impressive space as you walk into this incredible vessel and what better way to tie the experience by having a steinway piano here by the way, this thing is somewhere around quarter million dollars in value. So Steinways are not cheap. Also, I love that orange kind of starburst color they have on the front. It's really cool. It is pretty cool. I actually did not recognize that. And turns out this one actually has around 2,000 uh, tunes that it can play itself. Oh, it's a player piano. That's right. Okay. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Now I know. All right, let's continue our tour. Main salon flows straight into your formal dining room area. I say formal because I cannot just say this is a dining area. Look at the size of this table for a second. You can seat easily 12 people, if not probably 14. You have your chandelier above, wood paneled side walls, LED lighting detail, and to tie in the experience in the dining room, we have an aquarium on this side, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome to have an aquarium on a boat. Why not? That's right. All right, let's continue our tour. We have this door opening up to a nice 
spacious hallway. This is also where we have the staircase access. And keep in mind, in these big vessels, center of the yacht is generally where you have the most amount of space and volume. That's why they position these main staircases generally in the center of the boat. And this is also where we have the elevator access. And I have to point out this beautiful natural stone that's backlit, also book matched. You have an access to the side deck here. And since we just came out of the main salon and the dining area, we have a day head, guest bathroom, your toilet setup, stainless steel sink, and uh, Mikey, we gotta get a close up. Look at the tissue. It says Quantum of Solace. It's branded. Yeah, in case uh, y'all haven't figured this out, its owner is a big James Bond fan, so he named his boat after that film. That's right. All right, Mikey, let's continue our tour. We have a door actually here, sealing off this hallway, and following here, we have couple spacious guest cabins here we're gonna start our tour with the first one right here as soon as you walk in you have a bit of a seating area and the reason this guest cabin comes with a seating area is because they call this a nanny suite that way bedrooms can be taken by the kids and you can have a security here or your nanny these sofa setups can be turned into beds and around the corner we have a full bathroom kind of for this seating area and going into the bedroom itself which starts right here. We have two single beds, TV in the center, and these yachts are just custom built. So even your best setup, everything is just fully tailored to the room. Obviously, a lot of wood paneling throughout, nice contrast. You have your cold lighting detail above with the recess and lighting, desk setup here, and going through this door, we have a full bathroom here, spacious one. Your walk-in shower with chrome fixtures, your water closet facing the views, and you get a nice vanity set up here with marble countertops and a darker backsplash. Now, getting out of this room, I'm actually gonna use this door here, which means this guest cabin actually has two access points, and it brings us back to the spacious hallway. Now we have a few more bedrooms here. I'm gonna start with this one now, which is the second guest cabin. This one comes with a queen bed setup. Again, a lot of warmth, beautiful cove ceiling like details. You have your windows where you can appreciate the views. We're currently docked in Monaco right now, so I don't know if it gets much better than this. Let me get a look at that for the people. That's right. Pretty cool. It is pretty cool, right? Yeah. You have your TV on the other side, and Mikey, let's take a quick look at this bathroom here. Again, marble details throughout, beautiful inlays, walk-in shower, and this yacht is almost 10 years old, give or take. And look how everything is well-maintained and Everything is perfectly polished. I mean, literally, there's not a single stain anywhere in the yacht. Well, not to mention just the finishes, everything. Like, it doesn't look dated at all. Looks, not at all. It's brand new. The crew on this yacht, I mean, they're truly taking care of it really well. Uh, we had a chance to hang out with them a little bit before this shoot. Now, going through this door, we kind of come to a spacious hallway. These are actually the two spacious VIP guest suites towards the bow of this yacht. And the first door starts here. This one comes with a king-size bed setup. What I'm so impressed about this yacht is the fact that even the smaller bedrooms are so spacious. Obviously this one is a VIP suite, so you get a little bit more space. You have your desk set up, TV. I mean, every bit of detail is thought out. You have your tables on each side of your bed. Super cozy. And uh, going through here, we have all your wardrobe space and we have the bathroom here. Again, marble and natural stone details throughout. I love the marble that they use on the floors that carries all the way into the walk-in shower. You have your rain head above, nice contrast, and we got the vanity set up here, again, with chrome fixtures. Now, getting back out, these two VIP suites, if you want, you can actually connect them through this door here. And we have the second one on this side. You have your pop-up TV here, another desk set up. And Mikey, let's take a quick look at a bathroom here. Same marble finishes like we saw in the other one, but this bathroom actually comes with a tub setup, vanity here, good sized cabins. Now getting back out, we have one more cabin to see. And I personally really like the details of that cabin, especially the bathroom. It starts right here. Let's take a quick look. This one also comes with a queen bed setup, walk-in closet. You have your built-in bed, mirrored back wall. And going through here, Mikey, we got a really nice bathroom. This one has one of the lighter tones with the marble and the inlays. And I love how this marble and inlay design on the floors breaks the bathroom into two sections. One wall continues all the way to the water closet and the other side continues all the way to the walk-in shower and another sunny bathroom. 
And that's pretty much it for the main level. Now let's go back to the staircase and check out the lower level. All right, everyone, here we are on the lower level. This part of the yacht is super cool. We got a ton of amenities here. This is where you have fun, enjoy the water. But before we cover this section, I wanna talk about the engine room because it's located right behind this wall. And this yacht has two 2,447 horsepower Caterpillar engines that runs this vessel. And it has a cruising speed of 15 knots and it can actually go all the way up to 17 knots. So I wanted to mention that covering the engine room and continuing our tour here we got a nice massage chair lounging chairs here because this side of the yacht actually folds down we have a hydraulic door here and extends out your beach club area that way you can enjoy the water and the sea a little bit better and continuing to the other side obviously we have a ton of wood details another pop-up tv nice seating area to complement the space i love the art pieces on the walls it's just a very nice warm space for you to enjoy and be close to the water. Now, going to the other side, we have an open gym area here. You got some gym equipment, your treadmill, and I wanna go all the way till here because this door opens up to a long hallway that connects you to the crew quarters, fully staffed. This yacht has 17 crew members. Again, 238 foot in length. You need a lot of crew members, chefs, engineers, captain, deckhands. You name it, you need a lot of people on board. Now, continuing our tour, we got a really special room behind these glass doors. Let me take a quick look. And it's your massage room. You have a small sink. Again, beautiful wood paneling throughout. Stacked stone on the back. Nice zen area for you to sit down, get a massage, and just relax and enjoy this level. Very tranquil. Very tranquil, right? All right, let's take a quick look here. We have a powder room or day head over here. Again, stone finishes throughout. And right next to that, Mikey, I have to step inside to show the size here, uh, which I don't do quite often, but are you seeing how big this is? Yeah, and I know someone's gonna ask in the comments, where's the water in us? Well, we just arrived to Monica. Yeah. Uh, obviously all the tanks are drained and this actually has special lighting above, I believe. So you get a chirotherapy, I, I don't know the exact name, cryotherapy, no, cry something along that. Cryo's, cryo's cold. cold cryo's therapy. cold. Something along that line. <laughs> yeah. Everybody got well, the point. To, to, to expound on what Enos is saying, a lot of these larger yachts store the water on board. So yes. when you're underway, they actually have tanks that hold it and then they fill it back up when they're ready for it. Exactly. That way when you're cruising, you're not splashing water around. Exactly. Now, let's open up these doors. We have another spacious walk-in shower here. Your rain head, chrome fixtures throughout. I like even the bench that has that uh, red mosaic tile that we have in the spa or in the jacuzzi. Now. You ready for this, Mikey? Mm -hmm. When you think you saw it all, a yacht like this surprises you again. Your steam room, your hammam, your Turkish bath. Look at all the mosaic details, backlit stone. We have a stainless steel sink here for your cold water. I mean, this is amazing. The fact that you get an amenity like this within your yacht is just kind of mind boggling. And that's pretty much it for the lower level. Now let's go back to the staircase and check out the upper level. All right, everyone, here we are on the upper deck. You got a nice outdoor area here, your dining setup, bar areas, additional seating on each side of the deck. It's nice and spacious, but I wanna take everybody to the inside. By the way, again, we're in Monaco. The scenery here is pretty awesome, and we'll talk more about that later. But first, going through this automatic door, we come up to the upper level. This is where you look down to your grand salon, and Having double height ceilings like this, even in a mega yacht, is actually quite rare. This is one of those yachts that has that, and honestly, it makes such an impact as you walk into the vessel. Yeah, like these must be about 20 feet high. Um, and Give or take. That's definitely the first thing you notice. Like even these huge, larger scale yachts, some, some of these big living rooms feel kind of cramped because the ceilings are so low. Exactly. Yeah. But this definitely makes it more grand. Now. Going on this level, we have beautiful hardwood floors. Transition into the carpet area here because you got a nice table set up and in front of that you have this comfortable leather seating because those built-ins right there with a the push-up button, it's actually a TV. That way you can sit down here, relax, watch TV. And Mikey, I gotta show this detail. Even these couches, they're all recliners. Really? Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm just noticing this. Did you see this detail on the TV? What that's, is it? That's a city etched into it. Yes. What city is that? I don't know. 
But it's definitely a city. You can actually see the textures and all that. Kind of looks like uh, like Paris, but I don't know. Or it's London. That's beyond it's, my limits. It's, Lo- it's London. Yeah. There's a there's the there's the Eye of London right there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Quantum of Solace. That makes sense. UK. River Thames. There you go. All right. Continuing our tour, we have this door opening up to another hallway, and now we just came back to the landing on this level. Another day head, beautifully polished, stainless steel sink, and your staircase access here, elevator, and going through this door, we start our tour for the owner's suite. The first room we walk into is the office. You have the built-ins there with the built-in desk set up, good size office, views looking towards Monaco. You can't really beat that right now, and I have to show this. This concealed door opens up to a full-size bathroom here for the office. Now, going through these double doors, we walk into the owner's suite. This owner's suite, or this primary bedroom, might be one of the most spacious bedrooms we've ever seen on this channel. Whether it's a home or a yacht, I mean, look at the size of this space, which is amazing. And this bedroom, this cabin, also has two outdoor balconies. First one is right here. I have to take everybody out because views are so amazing. We are currently located on the starboard side of this yacht. We have the views of Monaco here and this is why people buy yachts like this because you can literally move your home wherever you want, enjoy amazing views like this. This is what the yachting lifestyle is all about. Yeah, and uh, we have the Monaco Yacht Show coming up here in a couple days. So uh, I'm sure you all will see more content coming out of, out of this location. Absolutely, and if you want to see more of these videos, just make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or input, always leave us a comment down below. Now, let's take everybody back inside to the owner's suite. And starting our tour here, we got a nice table set up, carpet floors, seating area here with this L-shaped couch, massive TV on the other side. And just like the other cabins, we have leather and wood panel walls throughout for that warmth and richness. California king size bed, built-in bed set up here with a leather back wall, wall sconces. And this is where we have the second day balcony for the owner's suite located on the port side. And we were actually on this yacht cruising to Monaco only a few hours ago. And from these decks, the views you get are just simply amazing. You can just leave these glass doors open, let the ocean breeze come in, and just truly experience this yachting life. Yeah, there's nothing like, uh, well, I don't know firsthand, but I can imagine it's great to wake up and just have the ocean rolling by outside. Well, we briefly experienced it. Yeah, We briefly. were on board for like a couple of hours cruising. Briefly, yeah. Uh, and it was certainly fun. For sure. All right, let's continue our tour. We have this door opening up to the primary bathroom and look at the size of this room. It's so spacious, marble everywhere, inlaid with this beautiful light blue stone that we have throughout. Your first vanity set up here with some LED lighting, onyx sink, chrome fixtures. You have the walk-in shower there with a massive rain head. And over here, you have your Jetta tub that also overflows. So we got that infinity edge that we set to see actually quite often. Chrome fixtures. It's just a nice setup, and they also backlit that stone on the other side. Right here, we have the water closet and your secondary vanity setup here with another onyx sink. Now, the current owner of this yacht still occupies it. That's why I don't wanna go into too many details here, but we have the first walk-in closet on this side. And as we get back out, we actually have a secondary walk-in closet, which is located here. Ton of built-ins, dark wood tones, another spacious closet for the owner's suite. And that's pretty much it for this upper level. Now let's take the stairs and check out the top deck. All right, everyone, here we are on the top level. This is where you really enjoy the outdoor spaces on this yacht. I mean, look at our surroundings here for a second. We're here in Monaco. In a few days, Monaco Yacht Show is gonna start. This is so exciting, and uh, me and Mikey have been smiling throughout this trip. We came here from Italy. We literally just docked. Uh, it's so cool, and again, having a mega yacht like this really allows you to appreciate your surroundings. We came here from Italy on this yacht, so if y'all look around, everyone's kind of, uh, all these boats are preparing for the show. Um, you're it gonna starts see, in a few days. Yeah, you're gonna see all the furniture covered up here, um, but uh, that's just because they wanna keep it pristine ready to go for the show. Maybe we'll come back in a couple days and get some B-roll with everything uncovered and, and good Show to, to everybody how this yacht looks when it's all like opened up. That's right. 
cool. Let's start our tour here. We got a nice outdoor seating area, lounging areas in between, and going towards this side, we have the dining area. I mean, how cool it is to just sit down here, have your lunch, dinner, enjoy these amazing views in the outdoors. And focusing on my right-hand side, we have the covered section on the top level. You got more outdoor seating, TV, few utility doors that accesses to the staircases, and this is super cool. You got an outdoor bar area here with the seating, but on the other side, it actually has a DJ booth. So I'm sure this would be a great spot to just throw a party, have a couple hundred people over and kind of enjoy your yacht. Yeah, and uh, it would be even cooler with what we'll see in a second. In a second, right? Now, we got an outdoor shower here, and you may think why, because going up here, you have your pool on this side. How crazy is this? Yeah, this is pretty incredible. And like we talked about earlier, these uh, are all empty right now, but they probably fill up in what, like an hour, an hour and a half? Somewhere on there. Yeah. And then you just have an outdoor pool within your yacht. It's, it's crazy. All right, Mikey, let's focus towards this side a little bit. Now we're on the bow side of this yacht and right in front of us, we have the helicopter pad. Behind that, we actually have two tenders with their own hydraulics. Um, this is crazy. You have a helipad within your yacht. That way you can just touch and go, come here, arrive in style, and uh, enjoy this incredible vessel. What an amazing yacht and what an incredible day here in Monaco. And I wanna thank all of you for watching this video till the end of it. As always, if you enjoyed it, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions or input, leave us a comment down below. Lastly, if you want more information about this yacht, you can check out the links in the description. And big thanks to our dear friend and the broker of this yacht, Peter Thompson, for getting us on board, allowing us to tour this amazing vessel and share our experiences with all of you. Again, Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week.